So, just another quick video, uh, and this time it's about understanding the colors of steps-based waveforms. So what am I talking about here? Well, of course we've always had waveforms, but uh, the new thing is that now that we have stem separation, where we separate the music into, for instance, uh, the drums and the melody and the vocals, then we can also have our waveforms based on these stems. Uh, and that can actually tell us a little bit more when we look at these waveforms. So that's what I've done down here. This is the new waveform column, uh, like I explained in my last video. Uh, so they actually have a whole other range of colors than the usual waveforms right now. And that's because I've switched this to use the stems. So I, how have I done that? Well, it's just a setting. So if I go in here and I switch to waveforms, you can see down here that I've kept it at the color waveforms with the neutral here, the neutral scheme. And then I've used set Use frequency, which is actually default. I've switched that to no. And then as you can see down here in the in the text that appears down here, it uh, it, it now says that that uh, it's going to be color uh, based on stems when colors uh, instead of frequency. So uh, that's what we want. So that's what I've done here. So then what can we see? Well, let's look at the track. So of course it's down here now. It's a little small. So I grab one of them, load it, and now it turns bigger. Now we can see I'll see that a lot clearer here. Uh, and we can also see it up here, but of course that's right now based on, on, uh, uh, on, on the beats, and that's what I often use, but for this video I'll switch that to, to colors, so we can also see it up here. So what are these colors then? Well, I tried to figure that out myself, but uh, I gave up a little bit, and then I put my assumptions into a question on the virtual DJ forum, and luckily one of the developers uh, replied, and gave me a bit, a, a, bit, a bit more tips. So now I think I have a, a little bit of the answer at least, and that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. So basically, the vocals are green. So green means vocals, and uh, then when it turns from the, uh, the, the vocals into a bit more melody, it'll turn a bit more cyan. So cyan uh, will, be, uh, will be the melody part. So close to each other, but different. And then red, pure red is bass. There's a little bit of red here. So that'll be bass, and uh, then blue is the hi-hat or a high-pitched drum. Could be a high snare, maybe a clap, something like that. And just the kick is white. But since the, the kick is, is important when looking at, at waveforms, especially while DJing, then uh, it's not just like a white little thing. It's also like make, make everything brighter right there. So you can see the kick spot. So you'll often see that it simply turns brighter where the kick is, even though it's not entirely white. There uh, might be some blue in there uh, because of the, the hi-hat or maybe a snare on top of it. Uh, so, but that's where the kick will be. So uh, just to recap, vocal screen, melody more towards cyan, red is bass, blue is hi-hat or high-pitched drum, or just the kick is white, uh, or it'll get wider if there's a kick drum involved. I'll put this in the video description so uh, you can grab it from there. So let's try to load and listen to some tracks and see if we can identify this to be correct. So as you can see, here's some green, so let's jump there. So if we, if we look up here, here's a lot of green, and then it turns a little cyan, and it turns green again. So let's listen to that first. So there was some vocals here, here. and then the, the cyan area, that's where the vocals stopped for a little while, just for a little phrase and it was only the melody that could be heard. So that's why it's green and cyan here. If we continue playing, more green, more cyan, more green here, and then it goes into cyan, which probably means that the vocals stop here before they go into the next part. So the last part here, that was just melody, right? Just a, a high-pitched, uh, uh, synthesizer or something like that. So that's basically the melody, that was cyan here, and the vocals were green. Then a lot of stuff happened here. What's actually happening? Well, it looks like some kind of uh, drums are coming. Let's listen to it. So this is high-pitched drums. So it's mo it's mostly like uh, blue-ish because it's the it's like a hi-hat or high-pitched snare. So no, not quite a kick yet, uh, but let's see what happens if we like let it play. 
A lot of stuff. Hard to decipher. And here definitely comes the kick. This is bright and some of it is even pure white where the kicks are and very bright. So that's where we expect the kicks will come in. And indeed they did. That's why the kicks came in. And as you can see that little red part here, that's probably cause that like the final little bit before the next kick hits is mainly based on, a, on bass or synth bass in this case which is probably true, that's kind of hard to, to decipher in this, this fast, but that's probably true if we listen to it a bit more. But like I said, that's kind of hard to decipher, so let's load another track that has a lot of red uh, uh, in one part. So I'll load this track, and as you can see, there's a clear red part, so that should be bass. So let's try to jump in here somewhere. So that should be a little bit further. There should be a, a, a few kicks here, like regular kicks, kick drop, drums on each downbeat. And then uh, when we get into the red, it should turn into just like almost pure bass. Let's see what it is. So that's true. We had the kicks in the beginning and now it's pure uh, synth based bass. Let's let it run a little bit, see if we can see something else. The melody is coming back. And here comes the kicks, with a, which are bright white. Like that. So that's also pretty interesting. And as you can see down here, it's a little bit of a mix. We got everything. We also have a little bit of the blue part. So that's probably a hi-hat or a snare, but it's kind of hard to decipher. So let's try uh, to just uh, watch the, uh, the, the blue parts. Let's try to load a third track from down here. So as you can see, that's, that's almost purely blue in the beginning. So that should be high-pitched drums, right? So let's see if that's actually correct. The very, very first part, first part should be just either high pitch kicks or claps or high head. And it, indeed it was. Let's try again to listen to it. And then you can hear it goes into the vocals. And then when it gets to this part where it says Q3, then it's actually the first kick. Uh, at least the first loud kick. So let's try doing this. So exactly like we would expect when we look at it, high pitched drums are hi hat, vocals turns into a little bit of incoming melody, and then the kick starts here where the white starts. So that's basically a little bit of an example on how you can read these colors when you enable stem spaced waveforms. And it actually gives you a lot of information because uh, I know it's pretty tiny if you see it down here, but it still tells you something. This tells you that there's no kicks in the first part. It's just going to be a lot of melody and probably vocals. And then a regular tracks with a lot of bass and a lot of kicks starts around here, right? So a lot of lead in. And this one, the one that we loaded up, will have a, like a, an entire part in the middle section that will be bass based. So either synth bass or a real bass here somewhere. So it actually gives you a lot of information even before you load the track. Uh, and I think it's a lot more than the, the regular waveforms can give you.